Hey guys, Commissar Stalin back with uh, part 5 of our Hearts of Iron 3 Hungarian game. So, uh, last time in our Hungarian game, um, Nationalist Spain won. That's kind of getting old. That's old news, kind of. Um, the Italians, uh, we have signed an alliance with the Italians, so um, with our plots against Yugoslavia, we are hoping that... Um, the Italians will join us because they also have claims in Yugoslavia. Um, Germany annexed Austria um, on the Eastern Hemisphere. We have the Japanese pushing into Asia. Uh, not too far yet, but they're working. Um, and they've invaded Shanghai and are closing in on the capital. Um, they established the puppet state of Mangukuo or something, I don't know. Um, but, yep, that's just about, um, all that's happened up to this point. Oh, uh, and our army is at a 259,000 men. So it's pretty substantial. I'm going to go into intelligence and um, look at our neutrality, 41. We gotta start getting some officers. Um, the last time we checked, I believe the neutrality we needed was 23 to attack. 23.5. And um, we do have the um, sway with the Germans to be added on to the faction, but um, I don't really want to do that yet. I want to attack Yugoslavia before I join the Axis. We're just gonna whore supplies. The Japanese doing work. Not a lot of work, but work.
Italy has been accepted into the Axis. And, okay, this is kind of weird. I don't really understand. But apparently since I am allied with Italy and that they're on the Axis, I can see, I can't see, like, it lit up. And it doesn't tell me, like, the infrastructure. But it tells me... It's telling me, like, all their troops, which is, that's weird, but whatever, I guess. I don't mind it too much. I can kind of see how this war is going a little bit more, a little better. Who has purple units? Oh, that's Zibizanma, isn't it? That is Zibizanma. All right. <laughs> it's dropping guys we're almost there Japan is definitely not almost there they're just slowly pushing. It's a pretty steady advance, but... They've been at war for a whole year, just about. I don't know, I was just looking at the dynamics of how fast it went down, or how slow it went down. Alright, that's weird. Everyone sees this. <laughs> I don't believe I'm supposed to see the Japanese troops, but I do. And this is almost connected. That's a big problem for the, ch the Chinese. Is Guangxi clicking in this war? Okay, um, so apparently Guangxi clicking is, isn't even in this war.
And the technology. Infantry support weapons has been completed. And I'm done with my intelligence. So, um, December 1st, Christmas is coming up, a new year, and a lot of wars. It slows down my game when I see the troops, so I'm just going to keep it like this. I just want to see the taking of Na uh, Nanjing. The siege of Na Nanjing is almost completely cut off, and we start 1939, slowly, very slowly. I definitely do not feel like gaining three neutrality, so I'll take a 10% loss. Come on, I just want to see the taking of that. I just want to see. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. So. The Japanese have taken Nanjing. It's great for us, not too good for them. I believe their capital is here. I'm probably wrong. But I'm going to take the huge stack of troops there as a sign that their capital is there.
There we go. I just want to combine those two divisions. Why, Germany? Why do you influence a nation like Luxembourg? It's just absolutely a waste of time. <laughs> I I don't know why the computer does that. Oh, there's the capital. No, that that place seems better. Maybe it's just my opinion, but Yeah, this is like the new Spanish War where I'm just going to like watch because this is the only like impressive thing going on, really. Taiwan? Oh, no. <laughs> We're kind of fumbling along here. Oh, oh, I completely missed this. Germany has, uh, oh man, it was like the first, the Treaty of Munich or something. I think that's what it was, the Treaty of Munich. Um, so, um, they have had to give up their, the Sudetenland to Germany. So, yeah, no longer belongs to them, belongs to Germany. The Papal State. <laughs> I, I find that kind of humorous since I'm a big Europa Universalist guy. So pretty big deal, Chinese getting smashed. Just pretty much getting completely waylaid. You guys are probably all sitting there going, join the goddamn access. Well, I, I would love to, but my last video I kind of explained why I didn't want to and the second Vienna event will happen soon enough and Germany will offer me this stuff back up here and I'll take it and be thank you Germany and then I'll and when Germany attacks war on Poland, I will do the same, and it'll be great. It'll just be great.
I could quite possibly have a 300,000 man army before I even get to declare war on Yugoslavia. You know, I suppose... An idea just crossed my head, or my, uh, mind, that, uh, maybe if I, China is retreating from their capital at Mishan, Mishan, something like that, I don't know. The capital has been moved to Chongqing, Kung or something, I don't know. I'm not in Chinese at my school, so. So, the manpower, a little low. Resources all doing okay. I don't have like an overabundance, but enough uh, supplies, good. Spies, getting some spies. What I'm going to start doing to you, poor old Yugoslavia, is I'm going to try and increase their threat. Well, my projection is um, next video I will during that video I'll probably hit. Oh, hold on, that interrupted my thought. All right, so um, Japan has completely taken over nationalist China. Um, that's a big deal, and um, that's a huge deal. That's pretty big. What that means is Japan will be fighting all this all this good stuff now I don't know and uh, going see click I don't know what's going on with them Yunnan um, this they will get conquered eventually and uh, then this obviously gets ceded to Japan um, I guess what's good, probably gonna be happening is a battle through Burma and India, which should happen in real life. And down here, Japan will go start tanking down there. And, yep, that's probably what we're going to see. I would like to see Japan put their troops back up here, some. So when we do go to war with Russia, um, Japan will be able to be a big part of that. Oh, and if you guys have been watching my videos, um, I'm going to go back in the titles and edit the dates to when uh, they started and when they ended, just so it's a little easier for you guys and myself. Um, I'm probably going to, this will be the last month, and then I'll go uh, get the next part in a couple days or so.
That leaves up was uh, that leaves us with 282,000 soldiers. Um, that's plenty, I think. I think I'll be able to squash the Yugoslavs, but that's me. And we are raising their threat with one soldier, which isn't that impressive, but it's pretty impressive. It's a pretty big deal. Ah, so at the end of our gameplay, um, Germany has ceded um, Ruthenia to me, and uh, that's all good with me, I don't mind that. So, I'm going to have to put some guys on the uh, Polish border now. As everyone in the world is mobilizing their armies, and my IC gets a big boost. This is a good way to end this video. Me all happy. Unfortunately, when we get back on, I'm going to have to make some new deals to get some more energy and all that good stuff. I'll make one really quick. Uh, Germany. Alright guys, this has been part 5 of the Hungarian Hearts of Iron game. We've acquired Ruthenia from the Germans. Um, the Nationalists won in Spain. Uh, that's obvious. Still allied with uh, Italy, and they are on the Axis as well. Um, the biggest uh, event, I believe, in the game... Uh, to this point is the uh, Japanese completely eradicating nationalist Spain, or not Spain, China, uh, communist China, and Shanxi. This has been Commissar Stalin. Uh, like the video, comment. Uh, don't forget, I want you guys, uh, if you feel like it, uh, just let me know what country you'd like me to play next for this game. Um, yep, thanks for watching.